Hey, Jalen, um, just given the way things have gone and, and the way the end of the North Carolina game went, how much do you guys just need a win, just need something good to happen? The, the desperation level is through the roof right now. Um, I mean, we're fighting with everything that we got right now, I'd, I'd like to say so. Jalen, what was different for you the other night uh, in, in your game? You seemed more confident and relaxed. Was it a matter of confidence? What What was different than than maybe what was going on early in the year? Um, you can say that uh, I was definitely uh, more confident um, going into the game. Didn't really second guess or second second think. Uh, shot or making a play and I guess things went in my favor somewhat as a, as a follow-up was that do you feel like early in the year like were you struggling um with second guessing yourself a little bit or or were there other things um i would say that's that's more so been the issue the entire year just really overthinking the game Jalen, when you obviously you have not had the season that you want to have as a player individually, when you have something like a coaching change this late, do you look at that maybe as a little bit of a fresh start for you? Kind of forget what came before and, and start over? Um trying to look at it like that, but uh I mean it's definitely still uh, like it was just like a weird time for everything. But, yeah, you can say I'm looking at it like that. Ken? Yeah, yeah Jalen, the other night, you know, the emotion that, that Mike showed, you know, in particular at the end of the game, how much do you guys kind of feed off and, and, and what he's kind of brought to the table and the time as interim coach? Um, He definitely brings that fire and – that pop that we need uh, before the game, you know, in the middle of the first half, all the way through to the end of the game, regardless of the outcome. I mean, he's he just brings that energy, and we definitely feed off of that. Do, do you guys appreciate that? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, it, I would say even – with the, the coaching staff change and stuff that's going on, I mean, I guess him bringing that energy kind of takes our thought process on all of that other stuff away. It makes us more so get focused on the game, ready to go out there and compete. Hey, Jalen, you may have touched on uh, the answer for this question right there a little bit, but Coach Pegues uh, has talked about the need for toughness, and he actually praised the toughness that you guys showed against North Carolina. One, what does that mean? What What is he looking for as far as toughness, and where has it come from uh, in, in these last couple games? Um, I'd say it's, it's more so been fighting through the adversity. Uh, I mean, with all the stuff that's going on and, you know, with uh, – Malik being out, um, I think that we're missing, uh, or it's just like a lot going on, I guess you could say. And <laughs> you just got to keep fighting through, I guess, the adversity. It's like whenever we hit adversity, we tend to fold. I guess that's been the the, the story for the majority of the year. But I, mean, I think that we're getting better as far as handling that adversity. Go to Jody and then Brett. Jalen, uh, Mike mentioned the other night that you you guys needed a day off on Tuesday. Um, how nice a was it to have a day off mentally? And what was yesterday like? And how how's the attitude or how how mentally? How did you guys come back? Um, it was definitely a tough loss on that day off. It was most definitely needed as far as uh, physically and mentally. Um, but yesterday, I mean, 
moved on to the next one. We got Syracuse coming up tomorrow and got back to competing, getting back at it. Now this team plays zone and that's uh, something that we usually don't see too often throughout the year or we haven't seen too often throughout the year. Right. And Jalen, we didn't get to talk to you the other night, so I just wonder, you know, what was your reaction to the technical call there toward the end, and, and did you get a, an explanation, and what was that explanation? <laughs> no explanation was given. Um, um, uh, I think it was a, a terrible call. All I was doing was separating the two, and I don't know if Armando got tripped up or if he, seeing that I had four fouls at the time, and just wanted me to get out of the, out of the game. But uh, that was just overall bad call. Did he say something to you after the game, Armando? Did he stop and say something to you in the line? It looked like on TV he might have said had something to say afterwards. Uh, nah, he didn't say nothing about the call. It was some other some other things. Ken? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. Uh, any others for uh, Jalen? All right, that'll close us out.